Thank you very much, President Edling. It is very important for me to uh, have a chance to meet representatives of an institution that has worked so successfully for the past 30 years to heighten the awareness of Quebec, thanks in part of its geographical proximity as well as the leadership shown by a number of its members. The United States and Canada are of course tied together. Whenever you have an economic problem, it's not good news for us. It is bad news. But at least now hope is in the air. We are seeing signs of an upturn thanks to the economic recovery measures we have deployed all together. I say we because Quebec's geographical closeness to and numerous ties with the United States means that we share a North American destiny. The environment is probably one of the leading issues, of course, of this 21st century. First of all, Quebec is a member of the Conference of New England Governors and Eastern Canadian Premier will, will try in the coming years to build the type of consensus that we need and that will shape our regional space. We will also participate all together in managing the Great Lakes, the St. Lawrence River, as an associate members of the Council of Great Lake Governors. We believe in free trade, the, we believe also in free mobility. It is very important that we support this idea of a greater continental integration. We try to maintain a smooth flowing border open to goods and people, and I think it is one of our leading challenges. It is essential to make sure that our border remains unobstructed while we ensure the security of the entire continent. Another major issue, both in America and worldwide, is energy. Over the coming years, energy independence and the shift to renewable forms of energy will be key concerns for the U.S. federal administration and state government. Quebec currently generates over 47,000 megawatts of electricity, 97% of which comes from renewable sources. Thanks to our major hydroelectric potential, we will be able to boost our production by 16% between now and 2014. And as you probably are well aware, this electricity can be exported and is exported a lot in the United States.